I've tried everything. Does anyone know what to do about this? I've tried pressing that button right there on the Lenovo. This is a Lenovo B560 laptop. I've had this thing for many, many years, and I thought, well, I'll get a cord for it and try to get it to work again, because <sighs> I thought I found a solution online. Someone, someone said they had a solution, and it didn't work. So this is what happens. Press the power button. I've even held in that reset button. Nothing. And I go into startup repair, and it just says that the files are corrupt, that the device is corrupt, there's nothing I can do. So after I've gone through the, uh, the whole process, this is what I get. Starting Windows, and that's it. Just starting Windows. No operating system. It can't even find an operating system. It, it can't find anything. It can't do anything. It won't work. If anyone knows, like, what to do with this situation, and then it just winds up shutting off again. So, I don't know. I have tried everything. I've gone into system repair, where it tries to load the files. See, it goes into this. And I haven't plugged it directly up to the network. I, I thought, well, maybe that'll help by plugging it directly to the network. It doesn't. It's been a couple of minutes, and it's still attempting repairs. And this is what I'm seeing. And then, several minutes later, the same thing. Two hours later, Actually, it's still just about four minutes later, but literally five minutes later, it says send information or don't send. When I try to send information to Microsoft regarding this issue directly through the network cable, Windows claims it tries to check for a solution to the problem. And it says Windows cannot repair this computer automatically. So when you view the diagnostic details, this is what you see. A bunch of error codes. Root cause found. No operating system files found on disk. So basically this computer found no operating system files. So that's what it tells me, that it can't find any operating system in this computer. It's like the operating system, poof, no longer exists. So that is what I'm told by the computer. They found no operating system on this computer. You cannot run a device without an operating system. And that's what this thing claims, that there is no operating system. So I go into advanced mode. And I've tried all of these options. Startup repair, system restore, system image recovery, Windows memory diagnostics, and command prompt. And this has been many years that I've, I've attempted this. And, and it tells me that the last time I used it was that date right there, September 12, 2015 at 6.17 p.m. That's when it went to sleep. I mean, that's when I went to sleep and then it just never, it never restored. So that's what's going on. So it's telling me there's no operating system. And then it goes into this and then I'm left with the disk has errors. Uh, it says Windows has detected the file system corruption on D. You must check the disk for errors before it can be restored. So basically I check it and it's the same thing. I start scanning and the device was uh, basically found to be corrupt. But it was successfully scanned and all three stages were gone through.
it checked the file system, it found no problems, but it just can't find an operating system. So it's doing two different things. It's telling me that it found corruption, but yet at the same time finds no operating system. Which is crazy. And then it's just back to the same thing. Back to the exact same thing once again. It boots up the Lenovo screen. With no Windows startup. So that's definitely a huge problem.